Hey, this is Darko. In this video, I will show you picture options and share tips for picture adjustment for Sharp 55 BL5 EA TV, which is an Ultra HD 4K TV with VA panel and 60 Hz screen and with support for HDR. Currently, I'm feeding this signal via HDMI and when I press menu button, you see TV options in the bottom part of the screen. Going to picture mode, you see different presets and currently I'm in movie mode, which is the best performing out of the box, even though TV will come in energy saving mode by pure default. So it's not very pleasant, you see these ladies are now not looking at their best. And movie mode helps you get this neutral picture you want, like directors intended. But there is room for improvement, definitely. So I checked other presets as well. And what is very important is that only user mode can be adjusted. Every other mode is fixed and you can just use it, but you cannot modify anything. So user, as you can see, now shows the best picture I could obtain from this model. And let me show you how I did it and where are these additional options for picture adjustment. So I press menu button again, go to settings, then scroll down to device preferences and select picture. So all picture options are within Android menu. There are no additional menus like with other Android TVs I reviewed before. So you have everything right here. First option is backlight, which defines how bright the overall screen is. My target was around 150 nits, so I put backlight to 40. Brightness is black level, it was correct by default. Contrast, now this is one control that was adjusted to 50 by default, and this is too high, basically you lose details in highlights and you get these pinkish whites, which you want to avoid. So I reduce contrast to 35 to get more nicer picture. Saturation I left at the default 52. Hue left at zero. And sharpness, basically for high definition and ultra HD content, you can leave it at zero. But for standard definition, I recommend something between 5 and 10, basically this will help you get a bit sharper image. But you don't want to go too high because then you will also see some imperfections in digital signal which will also be highlighted that way. Gamma you have different options, uh, I settled with middle. Color temperature, now here you have different options, cool, standard, warm. But if you want to do adjustments, then you need to use user option. And this is the first white balance control on this TV. Okay. Next. Display mode, basically same as with this. Next is display mode. Here you have different options to show image. Basically, if you want to zoom it or, or uh, show it unscaled you can use this option here. Basically, automatic should do the job correctly. Going to advanced video, here you have digital noise reduction, which for movies and so on, I recommend to turn off. But if you have some noisy content or you are distracted by noise, then you can use options available here. It is quite effective, it works good. MPEG noise reduction for reduction of these digital imperfections not really effective, I couldn't see any difference. Adaptive Luma Control, this is 
different name for dynamic contrast, basically I recommend to keep it turned off. DI film mode, basically this is for TV to detect uh, 24p content, for example in interlaced signal, keep it at auto. Blue stretch option I, I wasn't turning on, basically I couldn't see any real benefit out of it, so best to keep it turned off. Game mode switches TV to this specific mode for gaming, but from my measurements of input lag, it is equal whether you are in game mode or in game picture preset or in movie mode, for example, it is around 33 milliseconds. We also have PC mode and HDMI RGB range that you can adjust if uh, auto mode doesn't work correctly, but from my test it was working fine. Coming back we have color tuner and as I said for color temperature we have one white balance control. Now I will show you another one. So if you enable color tuner you will get hue, saturation and brightness for primary, secondary and flesh tone colors. So really extensive controls and so you can adjust hue, saturation and brightness for them. And there are also white balance controls for bright and dark region. So uh, this is second white balance control. Finally we have 11 point white balance correction. So starting from 5% and then going 10, 20 and so on, you can in theory adjust white balance. So this is third white balance control on this TV. And from my experience basically this 11 point white balance control doesn't work at all. I could see just very small corrections in, in green, but nothing significant. So even though there are many controls for white balance adjustment, I wasn't really getting good results from using them. Uh, color temperature control does work. Also this 2.1 in color tuner but 11 point didn't work at all and from start white balance is not really stable from dark to bright. So even with all these controls and some of them are not even working, I really wasn't able to get really accurate white balance like I can get on other TVs from other manufacturers. So my advice is uh, the most important thing is that you reduce contrast control because by default at this 50 it is brighter picture but you will lose details and picture will simply not look natural. Now I want to show you one thing and yeah a small uh, warning to people who will actually do calibration and, and who expect the best performance all the time. Sometimes this TV will forget settings and you will need to re-enable them. And what I mean by that, so using this Meridio 6G I will switch to a pattern for adjusting of white level, so you see it in the background. And currently, when I turn off the menu, you see it's looking good. Natural, uh, nice neutrality of uh, different shades. Now what I will do, I'm in HDMI 1, I will switch to HDMI 2 and go back to HDMI 1. And look at this, this pattern doesn't look the same. You see this pinkish effect present. So I, I was really surprised, I did measurements again with Kalman and then I realized all I need to do is go Again through this long road of menus, go to picture and then scroll down to color tuner and then do this, disable, enable. So in case you encounter this, this is the solution. Now additional advice, if you press home menu you will go to this main menu and here you can open different apps. 
For live TV and HDMI inputs, you can open this whole menu and switch to different picture presets. But in case of video on demand apps, such as this one, such as YouTube, you cannot open menu right during playback. You need to press home and then you go here on top to settings. And now you're in this Android menu where you can go to device preferences, picture, and here you can do the adjustment. And the reason why the video was very uh, red, it is because I was checking if this works or not. So I did in color temperature some adjustment. As you can see, I increased red to 100 and reduced green and blue channels to zero. So definitely, this way you can also control how picture will look in video on demand apps, but definitely it is not as practical as on other TVs from other manufacturers where you can during playback just bring menus on and uh, do the adjustment on the fly. So this is what I wanted to share in this video. Basically, uh, after adjustments, you can get more natural looking image and it is okay for watching movies and so on. Uh, you saw that there is no option for motion interpolation, so you cannot get soap opera effect. So you can only watch movies with certain amount of judder. So if you are annoyed by that, if you want smoother motion, then you should look for other TVs on the market. Uh, HDR doesn't really exist on this TV even though it supports it, but basically it cannot display white color gamut or high peak luminance and there are no uh, sophisticated controls for local dimming. There's just dynamic contrast and that's all. So guys, this is all that I wanted to share in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have some questions, leave them down in the comment section and stay tuned for a full review of this TV. It will be online very soon. Bye!